Let's get into that jog. Come on. You got to get that body going. Either jog, march, walk. Whatever you feel like doing. You feel marching it or jogging right now. Right now. Come on. And just get that body moving. Get that body waking up. We're going to be doing four different rounds. We're going to do it one time. We're going to repeat it. Then we're going to go for a jog. Then we're going to start the next one. Okay? Focusing on the shoulders this morning. I didn't turn these side lights off. So hold on a second. Okay, Google. I don't want to bring lights to white. <laughs> okay. Much better. All right. So, okay, Google, resume. There's, the music is kind of low, but it's playing. Okay, so anyways, now that we're already almost a minute in, we have another minute, like a minute and a few seconds and a half, so on the timer for the starting part. But we're starting up with step or regular silly jacks. So you can step to the side by pulling it back and closing it. Pulling it back and closing it, okay? And it's going to be shoulder presses. I have... The 20s, the 15s, and the 12s out for the shoulders. We're going to actually do the first round with the 20s, pushing it through. Then we're going to do crunches. So once we're done with the step or still jacks, I'm going to grab the mat to come to the ground. Shoulder presses on the ground. Get down, do crunches. Come back, stand up, step or still jacks again, and then repeat it. Okay? Now, I actually, to be honest with you, I didn't start the timer. So hold on a second. We're getting a little bit longer in the jog. I believe I didn't start the timer. Sorry about that. Hold on. Kind of helps when you start again, right? So we're going to get another two-minute jog. So this morning, we get to go for a four-minute jog. Okay, so which might be actually what, just what I needed this morning anyway. So let's just mix it up a little bit here since we're going to be jogging longer and add in some arms, okay? Since I had it, oops, there, and didn't even start the timer for the intervals. We're gonna roll up the arms forward. Come on, let's wake them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. You could be counting, you could be looking at the timer, you could be doing whatever. Roll them up. Now, up, tap the shoulders, tap the shoulders, waking them up. Shoulder caps again, you could be walking, marching, or jogging. Today, right now, my knee feels okay. I'm doing the jog, just keeping it easy. I might end up doing the walks later, but I'm not doing regular jacks. Okay, come on, squeeze it. 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 Now out, over, pull the shoulder in. One, two. Oh, actually, I can just look at the clock, so I don't know why I keep counting. Hold it in there, stretch your hands shoulders a little bit. And get ready to go. Over, other side. Pull it over, pull it down. Come on. Keep jogging and marching. Getting a little stretch in the shoulders when we're at it. Walk them, shake them up. Okay, so we have 30 seconds to start time. This will be just like our little 30 second jog to start, right? Yes, starting got a little bit longer than I was planning on. That's okay. Starting off with a four minute jog is good. We're going to get into step and regular jacks in six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Choose your speed, choose your regular first step. Okay? I don't need the impact. Jogging doesn't do as much to me as that does that. But my knees get better and it's also taped. So I do have, um, I don't know if it's rock tape or a different type, but tape on my knee that it's taped too. I did that yesterday. I'm like, it hurts. <laughs> All right, go into shoulders in three, two, one. Drop it down, get those weights. We have a 10 second transition. So two, one, load them up, press them. Yes, this is embracing. I know it's time, and sometimes when you do something that's time, you want to do as many as you can as fast as possible. But it's just the timer for the work. 
Doesn't mean we're racing through it. Down we go. Into crunches. Come on down. Aim it up. Two, one, go. It's right here. Make that core work. Come on. Crunch it up. We'll be getting back up in those sills. In the five. No more your toes are good, so we're good. Crunch all the way over, roll it up. Move it out and get right into it. We have a couple seconds now. We start. Alright. We're gonna do that again. Started this week off with a squat, so I did the squat spread this morning too, which was again like a little bit more cardio there too. Work the glutes some too. Today was sumo, so work the thighs some too. All right, two, one, drop it down. Going for the 15 hours this time. Load them up, and I'm gonna get right into it. A couple seconds early. Remember, after the crunches, we're going to go for a little jog this time, and we'll go over the next three minutes. Down I go. All right. Right into it. I'll let you hit us up in a couple seconds. Jock. I had to get my hair wet this morning because it was like all craziness. And it's still feeling so it was bugging me. It's like, this feels stiff. Okay, there we go. All right, in a jog. All right, in 30 seconds, we're starting out. Side to side steps, keeping it low, going side to side. Okay, then we're going to do lateral raises and reach throughs. That's why I got my sit up on this time because. And my tailbone will go through if I do reach moves without it. So I'm going to grab a weight for the reach moves too. Side to side steps. We actually had 10 seconds to start them up, but just got right into them. These attached if you go like this. And our side laterals. Now I got the 10s and the 8s out. I am going to do the first one with the 10s. For dropping it. We normally just use the eights for laterals, but this one we're going like pushing a little bit. All right, picking them up. Oh, I said the tens. I'm so used to the eights. In and down. Up and down. And we're in it. Up and down. And down, up, 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 and down. Up, and down. Ten more seconds. I'm gonna use one of the twelves for the roots. Race. One. Quickly move. Get my mat. 
Grabbing this lower. Okay. Grabbing it on the first one, coming down. Arching it through. And coming on up. All the way up. All the way up. Come on. And then come up. Look at the steps again. That was my head on the floor. I was supposed to do that because this is the last one. Over to the side it goes. Push that back over here and step it. Starting with the sup, the little sup, sups. You want to step it wide like this. This could be side to side shuffles too. Right, you just be walking like this. Choose your speed. We're gonna get those laterals this time. I'm going for the eighters. Only pushing the heavier weight one time. Then dropping it. All right, picking up the eights. Lateral raises. In three, two, one. So after the reach throughs this time, again, we'll come under jog and then we'll go over what we're going to be doing for the next round. There's four rounds total. All right, down it goes. Grab that mat. Grab that 12 -er. So I'm just going to keep with me. Line down and reach for I'm to grab myself down. Oh, hold on. There you go. Bring out my head hitting the mat floor. It's not good. That one extra one because of the uh, uh, late to the floor. I did get my pinky one time with it too. All right, next series. It's going to be step or regular jacks. I'm doing a step. Then we're doing upright rows and circular crunch. So coming around the knees and then around the knees the other direction. Okay, we're going to crunch it circular around the legs. Switching it up, every move. All right, step or go jacks. Starting in eight, seven, so I'm gonna get under now. I'm doing step, you do whatever you wanna do. We'll grab the 20 pounder again for the first set of upper arrows and then drop it down. Circular crunch, I'll use the 12 pounder again. This time we'll be with the regular mat, not with the, um, not with a uh, sit up mat. Here's the crunch. Really only needed that for the sit up one. It's much better than having my tailbone go, tell go through with the skin. All right, upright rows. Hit the weights. Leave those elbows. Remember, two, one, go for it. Those elbows up there, come on. Leave with those elbows, right rows. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, circular crunch in the mat. Get the 12 -er. Come on down and in. In, 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 in. All 
high back up in those step for regular jacks after this one. Give me five seconds. Down it goes. Flat forward. Step for regular. Come on. Should keep the heart rate up. Go for a move to the next. Rose will be with the 15 this time, not the 20s again. All right, here we go. Got those 15s. Get ready for it. Three, two, one. Ten seconds. Slow down. Focus on it really good. Down it goes. Get my feels crunches. Grab it away. Come on down. My watch came out. Get it on. I don't get some watch. Don't my watch falling off because of I need to get my presence closer to my feet. Okay. Three, two, we're ready for a jog again. Come on up. Need a jog. Let's go to the final round. going to be side to side steps again. Choose your desire. I'm going to do tap outs this time, I think, for this first round. Then we're going to do front raises and then toe reach crunch. So we're going to reach for our toes as we're crunching. Okay. Supposed to be up. Not, not the ground. Not shimmies. Up in the air. All right. Side to side steps. Now, and I'm doing step outs this time, or at least this one. I don't know about the next one, we'll see. Come on, make a move. Do whatever you want to do. You can do side to side hops if you really have it in you, but I am not putting that impact into my workout today. Not this week, I still gotta be hype. Hi, I face back. I'm about as young as I used to be. I cannot jump around as much as I used to. Injuries will last longer on me now, too. All right, front raises. I'm going to do the first one with the 10s again, then drop them to the 8s. Pick them up. I'm going to do half facing down, then I'm going to flip them up and do the other half facing up, okay? So, down. When I say flip it, flip them. Just straight out in front and flip this time. Feel the difference in the arms as you flipped it. All right, crunches, tail crunches. Get down there. Feet are in the air. Reach for them. Come on, crunch it up. Try to get that crunch, not all of the momentum. So like, just keep your arms straight. Just reach for them. Don't swing them back. Got it down. First. Momentum out. Get up there. Up we come. We have to step a regular jacks again. No, we don't. We have side to side steps. That's right. Side to side steps. 
Get it right in the head. Get it right in the head. Come on. So I was gonna, after this one, I was gonna jog it out for a little bit longer. But we had a longer jog up front. So I'm actually gonna just add in a little bit of extra weights after this one. We'll do another round for the shoulders after we finish this round up. And we go for a jog first. A 30 second jog that happens. Then we're gonna do that. All right, getting the eighters. Same thing. For this one, switch it each time. So up, switch down up switch down up switch down up switch down i think you got it <laughs> don't have to keep repeating myself So crunch time. Up and down. You go further a little bit if you can you go right yourself, come on higher. Put that up. Coming up for a jog. All right. Jogging it out until it finishes up now. And then we're going to come on down and we're going to do some shoulder presses. Just work with me. And then after we get through that, we're going to stretch, okay? We're going to do a couple minutes of shoulder work. So all the shoulder work. And you're going into a stretch. Jog around and out to the final. Four, three, two. Da -da -da -da. All right, walk it out. We're going to come on down. We're not done yet. We're going to pump up the shoulders real fast. So stand if you want to. I'm going to go for a, a drop set, okay? 10 with the 20s, 10 with the 15s, 10 with the 12s, okay? 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. Started off going kind of fast and made myself slow down. Come on into the next ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was the fifteens. Coming down, getting the twelves. Come back. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to keep on going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop it down and go over the tens. Whew, feel the burn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one more down, drop, eight, oh, right into it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down, oh, and then I'm crossed, and into some shoulder stretches, and we're gonna oh, flow with it just a little bit too. Okay, we're in that now. Pull it down over to the side, twist a little bit into it. 
other side, down, over, pull into it. Come back, draw that short arm back. Really get back into it, really good. Pull it back. Other arm, pull into it really good. So it's 25 minutes of work. You put squats on top of that, and that makes one 30 minutes of work. Now we're stretching. This week is my gotta get to the office week. Now, grab the other hands. I can't reach it like I can't quite get there. You can still have to be just caught. Just focus on it. Grab for each other. Whether you're really doing it or not, you should be able to grab. It means I'm not as loose as I used to be. Come on. Hold it there. So let's stretch really good. Uh, I'll switch around. Grab the hand. Come on. Pull the other arm up as high. Pull the lower arm up as high as you can go. Reach back. Hold that. We're going to the top of the mat. We're going to do a forward fold. We'll walk it out. Ah, push it up. I'm going to come to the mat, back down to the mat. Let me see if I can just lay that hair. Come on up. Down. Walk it out. Push it back to down. Knees down. Got it. Got it. Got it. Come on back. This time you're going to wrap your leg, arms around each other, your legs optional. I'm just doing it that way for me as I sit on my knees. Pull up. Straight up in the air. Come on. One, two, three, four. Switching arms around, switching legs around. Not that it really matters with the legs, but it's just my thing. Come on. Come on in. Now come on up. Squat it down, knees down there, push back, pull back. I'm going to go into puppy and then child's pose with the arms up in front and pull you down. Stretch those shoulders out a little bit more too. And then arms up and over in that same position, okay? So come on forward first. Puppy. Here, actually, this one's a little bit more of a, if normally puppies with your arms up, or arms are down this time, but our glutes are staying up, we're really pulling back. You put your hand there if you want to, or keep them out. I feel the stretch more, my arms are straight. Feel that stretch in that shoulder, you should feel really good in that shoulder right there. Come on, pull it back. And then, now for child's pose for, with the raise, you can put your hands on a weight if you want to or not. I'm going to do that just to make my sternum have my hands up high. Pull back. Pull down at your shoulders. Now, on the way back, grab the arms behind you, okay? Grab your arms behind you, come up and over. My 
hands are still being somebody grab my hand. But on. And now switch to the arm. Pull it really good. Ah, come on up. And now raise your back. Chest up for the most part, but that also gets the front of the shoulders. Pull your chest forward. You gonna work with me? We're gonna work our way from the bottom all the way up to the top and the stand, okay? And finish this off. So starting up the child pose. Back. Ooh, so that. Up on those fingertips. Walk our way up. First, elbows down. Push back. On the hands. Stay down with those knees. Push back. Pull up with those arms. Now elbows down. Dolphin up on those feet. Pull it back. In those shoulders. Really good. And the back of the legs. Come on. Squats and everything else. Come on in. Stand it up. Pull it back. And walk the hands back. All the way up. You gotta do at least one twist whether it's standing or anything. So take that arm, twist it around. Get that shoulder with that twist with the core too and the spine. And come back. So, this week I'm getting in there, getting it done. Wednesday will be a little bit different, obviously, because there won't be a plank hold. So we're just going to be full. We'll do combat cardio. So Wednesday will be squats, combat cardio, plank hold, and then stretching. So it'll be a little bit different on Wednesday, but tomorrow will be the same situation we're just doing, except for it's going to have a leg focus. It's going to be leg day tomorrow. All right, so start off with the squats, get into this. Finish it with a stretch, checking it off and saying we got it done.